Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about rsync, which is a very useful tool to synchronize two locations, which can be two servers, two machines, or two mainframes, etc. So for doing that, we are going to start typing nohub command because this will allow us to close our current session without terminating the job, which is the rsync job. Then I need to specify the rsync command, which is the, the synchronization command for, for copying a lot of files. This is very useful for large files, actually. I'm going to specify the archive uh, option, the verbose, recursive, and the p for keeping the permissions in both locations the same. Also, I'm going to specify the progress flag so I can see the, the progress in the window and also ignore existing, ignore existing. This option is very useful in case some network issue happens uh, and the rsync commands break in the middle so you can resume the the copying with the same command and it will ignore the existing files on the target server so it will speed up the the copy the copy time here also i'm going to use the e option this will allow me to specify the ssh protocol to connect to, to the remote server, I'm going to use the identity file, which is located in my home. Dot sh idrsa. Okay. Then I'm going to specify the file that I need to move. And now I'm going to specify the username which I'm going to use to, to copy the file and the IP address, the remote one. In my case, it's this one and the path where I need to copy the file as a target. In this case is home, this one. Rsync and I can rename it if I want new file name. Okay, I'm going to use this redirection so the standard input cannot mess around with the with the with the dynamic input asking me anything. And finally, I'm going to send it back to the background with the ampersand sign. Okay, I'm going to start the copying. It will create a new file uh, output file called not nohop.out and I'm going to tail that file. Okay. As you can see the 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 copying is now progressing. It is quite fast. It's only also 100 megabytes that I'm copying remotely to another machine. This, this command is very useful when you are handling very, very big uh, backups among servers. So you can schedule a cron job with this command and it will take that backup automatically. And also if you specify the ignore existing option, it's, uh, hope, uh, it's, it's very helpful because you will not uh, be executing this command for long hours but it just uh, copy the the new new files or the the file that you change okay the copy just finish i'm going to to type that one okay as you can see the the command is is now complete and the copy is now complete okay this is all for this video i hope you enjoy it please subscribe to the channel and let me your comments there thanks